Well, um, it's famously something that many linguists have been warned not to talk about. You know, the, the, it's very hard to speculate uh, about the real evolution of uh, the, the original events that led to the evolution of language uh, simply because, you know, those kinds of things don't fossilize easily. But there is brilliant research going on, especially in the last 20 years or so in uh, the field of, of the evolution of language. And, and, you know, you have this incredible kind of comparative research, um, modeling, uh, experimental research or testing all sorts of hypotheses around how, uh, language must have evolved. I think, um, one of the things you, you would need to emphasize is that language really is a complex adaptive system that is not just this one kind of encapsulated type of behavior. So, you know, it's very much emergent from many different factors. So in order to understand how language evolves, you have to think about a whole range of different factors that, that come into play to allow it to emerge. So you have certain cognitive capacities for um, processing information, things like memory uh, in speed of your, uh, you know, capacity to, to, to process information. Um, of a certain kind and to combine bits of information in certain kinds of ways. So there's a whole lot of presupposition around psychological capacities there. But on top of that, you have to also have uh, very particular population dynamics.